Hello my black students, you are highly welcome in my class and this is English Fluency Ato as usual. And my name is Teacher Ato. In case you are brand new in this channel, you are highly welcome. Yes, today uh, we shall have to see something new uh, because every day, every day I bring you new content and uh, new information. The things that we are going to learn right now is not that too difficult. However, it may not be suitable for the beginners. Uh, it is only good for intermediate, I think, but for beginners it may be challenging. However, even if you are a beginner, you don't have to fear at all. Yes, things have started getting harder, but you will get it, okay? Don't worry, you will understand it. Um, Without wasting a lot of time, uh, let us dive into it and then we see. Uh, we have a pronoun here that telling us uh, to fill the gaps with uh, words from the box, okay? There were some words in the box, but I didn't write it here. Uh, however much, I, I already put it for you as an answer. So I didn't write those, wa those words in the box. But those words in the box were these ones, which I underlined, okay? Yes, there are these ones which I finished to underline. So we shall see how we can use them. Okay. Yes. Uh, this one is uh, an objective pronoun. So an objective pronoun is a personal, is a personal pronoun that is normally used as grammatical object, either direct or indirect. Okay. The use of objective pronoun, uh, it will require you to change also tenses okay yes because here we have different type of tense we have present simple uh we have present simple present perfect past perfect uh past simple tense even future perfect and future simple tense so uh here like a, like an example in a we have richard ate the the food okay so since it is a pronoun, we shall only be dealing with pronouns. The ones that I underlined are called pronouns. These ones are underlined. These are the pronouns, okay? So we shall see how we can use them and also under which type of tense, okay? That we can use them. So it is said that it can be direct or indirect. You can use it directly or indirectly. Yeah, uh, last time I said that a pronoun, these are words that are used to replace nouns, okay? That's what I said last time in the other uh, content I made. For example, uh, Richard is here. In case you don't want to use Richard, you use him, okay? For a boy, you can use his or him, depending on the, on the pronoun you are using, okay? Now for her, is it for her is a girl, okay? Her, you can use it under a girl. This is a pronoun which can be used under Susan. Susan, the name Susan is the name of a girl. And then me, me is a pronoun which can be used under, under I, okay? So uh, I and, and, and me, these are, First persons, it means that you are talking about yourself, okay? And then, them, them, and they. It means that you are talking about other people. So, uh, is it this, this them and they are used in different tense, okay? They are not used in the, in the same tense. They are used in different tense. But it all stands for plural okay it all stands for plural it means that you are talking about some good numbers of people okay uh yes so them and they these are third these are third person plural it means that you're talking about level three of people uh here uh me is first person me first person you can be second person, different categories, okay? Different categories. And then him or her 
is third person. And then it it is also third thing. It means that you are talking about something which is under under the third category. And then as can be first person, first person plural. Okay. Yes, can be first person plural. I or me is first person singular. As is also first person plural. You is a second person singular or plural. And then them or they is under third person. Mark that. It is very, very important to know them. Uh, that's why I wrote it down here so that I can give you them carefully and in order. Okay, in case you have not understood this, that I just wrote the, the categories of pronouns, you can uh, rewatch that part so that you can understand it carefully. So then, let us continue here. Okay, so, uh, number one, we can see that. Number A, Richard ate the, the food. Yes, Richard ate the food. Also, on the other side, there's another way you can say it. This one is past simple tense, okay? This one is past simple tense. Richard ate the food. But you can also change it into, into past perfect tense, okay? And then you use the pronoun. On changing the tense, you use the pronoun, then you remove the name Richard, okay? Uh, English can be spoken in many, many ways. English can be spoken in many ways. You can either use, choose to use the name of someone, or you can choose to remove the name and also change the tense as well. Uh, Richard ate the food. We can also say the food was eaten by Richard. Okay, no, sorry, by him. The food was eaten by him. So who is him? Him is Richard, okay? Don't say his, okay? Because if you say his, this is a different type of pronoun. This one is objective pronoun, objective pronoun, and then this one is possessive, possessive, Pronoun, okay? There are different type of pronouns. You need to know them as well. Probably I will teach it in the in the, in the next content, in the next video. Therefore, uh, the food was eaten by him. Him is an objective pronoun of a man, okay? Or a boy. Yes. Uh, here we are only using objective pronoun, not subjective pronoun. The use of objective pronoun and playing with tenses okay therefore this one is past simple tense and then this one is past perfect tense next we have susan wrote the work okay susan wrote the work it is also of different tense past past simple tense but let me explain this one uh, a little bit let's come back to a it is past and then also the helping verb was it also symbolized that it is past tense because of it okay yes okay then b susan wrote the work past simple tense okay yes therefore we have wrote here because of this wrote we shall use was okay then we shall change it into past perfect and then I uh, use the pause, use the objective pronoun of a lady. The work was written by her. Okay, her is an objective pronoun of a woman. Okay, not uh, not possessive pronoun, but objective pronoun. Today, last time we used the possessive pronoun in the other video. I'll put the link of possessive pronoun and then you can go there and then you see. But this time we are using objective pronoun and playing with tenses or past perfect and past.
past simple tense. Uh, I, uh, then the work was written by her. So it means that Susan, this, this her is Susan. So Susan is the one that wrote that work. It could be a school work or an office work. Okay. Maybe she's a secretary. She's a student. She's a teacher. You never know. Um, and then next, I clean the house daily. Okay. I clean the house daily. So it means that uh, this person is talking about him or her self, what he or she does every day. Okay. Uh, this is daily, daily tense, everyday tense. Okay. So the house is cleaned daily by me. So me is an objective pronoun of I. Okay is an objective pronoun of I. So this tense also has been changed. It's not like this one. It's not like daily tense. Okay? Yes. This is daily perfect tense. Okay? This is a perfect tense. Daily perfect or present perfect tense. Okay? Yes. By me. So when you're using objective pronoun, in most cases, the tense will have to be changed into perfect okay yes they will visit the zoo this is a future tense okay they this is third person third person plural it means that you are talking about different group of people they which are not involved which you are not in involved in okay and is a future tense because of will, okay? Therefore, then let us change that tense into future perfect tense. And then we use the objective pronoun of they, which is them, okay? Yes. Then we shall say the zoo will be visited by them, okay? We shall start with the zoo, okay? will be visited by them. Uh, the zoo, we can start with the zoo because this is the main object, okay? Even here, the house, okay? Also, the house is the main object, yes? Even the work is the main object. The food is also the main object. Also, on the other side, when we are using the objective pronoun, we can start with the object, okay? And then the tense changes into perfect tense. Let me hope you understood. In case you understood, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Also, in case you like my, uh, my content, subscribe, like, and share with your friends so that they can also learn. And this channel is mainly meant to help you improve on your English, okay? So that you can connect to the world. Yes, um, as I said, you, you, like in case you're going to use the objective pronoun, start with the main object. The Richard ate the food, okay? You start with the food. The food was eaten, and then you change it into, uh, into, past perfect or or future perfect or present perfect okay yes uh mainly you don't use the it's just a matter of playing with the tense okay from present simple or or past simple or future simple into past perfect tense uh-huh then let us move on you took my veil uh-huh. You took my veil. Uh, here we shall say, we shall start with the main object. So we shall start with the main object. My veil was taken by you. Okay. As we said, you can be second person, singular or 
plural. You can be second person, singular or plural. If I say you, I'm talking of another person, not me. Me is first person, singular, okay? But you can be second person because it is you. Can be singular or plural. If I'm saying you when you are two people, that is second person, plural. But when I'm saying you, only you, one person, that is second person, singular, okay? So it means that my veil was taken by you. The tense has changed into past perfect tense, from past simple to past perfect, okay? Therefore, this you and this you will not change because I'm still talking about you. You took my veil. That tense is present simple tense. And then pre, uh, that tense is past, past simple, not present simple, past simple tense because took is a past tense of take, okay? So, took the person of take and uh, and then we shall say my veil was taken by you, by you. Yes, and then F, Marvin and Teddy cooked the food. Marvin and Teddy. Here we are talking about two people of which it will be plural, okay? Of which it will be plural, two people. We have Marvin and then Teddy, okay? Yes, we are talking about Teddy. Cooked the food. So, two people cooked this food. Then, which food is that? Beans, okay? Marvin and Teddy cooked beans. It is past, past simple tense, okay? Then we are going to change it and then use the objective pronoun of these two guys, okay? Possessive pronoun here may be they, because we are talking about two people, can be they. But then objective pronoun is going, going to change into them, okay? We shall say the beans were cooked by them, okay? So, uh, this is going to be where, okay? Because it is plural, it's going to, going to be where. If it was singular, it was going to be was. Yes. The beans were cooked by them. Mm -hmm. Let me hope that you understood. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Guys, uh, let us go now up to 1,000. <laughs> There's something I'd forgotten. I want to appreciate you, my subscribers. I am so happy for you guys for pushing me up to a half a thousand subscribers. Congratulations! I'm just happy, 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 happy. May God, may Allah bless you, okay? May God, may Allah bless you. And also in case you have something you want to tell me, write down in the comment below. I will answer it immediately, okay? Yes, I'm just so happy. So let us go for, I'm happy for a half a thousand subscribers. Let us now go up to 1,000 subscribers very soon. Yes, very soon. And then when we reach a thousand subscribers, uh, I will start live, okay? The other part of YouTube is called what? Uh, live, okay? Like teaching live and I will be having conversation with you and uh, see how I can help you better than now. Yes, we shall be going live after a thousand subscribers, live. Okay. Yes. Okay. Let us continue. The beans. Uh, did we finish that? Okay. We did. The cow was drinking milk. The cow was drinking milk. No, not milk. Sorry. A cow doesn't drink milk. <laughs> You know, I like milk. That's why in my head, milk all the time. I'm thinking of milk. Uh, the cow was drinking water, okay? This is also past perfect tense. This is past perfect tense. The cow was drinking water. Then we are going to change the tense into past 
perfect and change the pronoun from from uh change the pronoun of the car okay we shall we shall remove this remember uh right now we are fighting hard to see how we can make sentences without using the noun the name cow is a noun the name marvin and teddy is also a noun uh also here richard is a noun and susan is also a noun we are trying our best not to use the noun we are only using the pronouns okay yes uh we shall remove the noun and then use the pronoun it and also we shall change the tense from present simple to no from past simple to past perfect okay that the water remember we shall start with the object okay our main object is the water we are talking about the object okay the water was drunk by it okay if i say the water was drunk by it by what by the cow okay by the cow yes i don't have to tell you that the water was drunk by the cow okay yes it is also correct but we are just seeing how we can play around with english okay with english and and the tenses okay and uh, the pronouns yes and then lastly we have she gave a speech she gave a speech this is also past perfect tense okay past perfect tense then we shall change it into no it's past simple not past perfect this one is past simple we shall change it into past perfect and then objective pronoun yes uh, we shall start with the speech okay we shall start with this not in fact the speech a speech let us use a speech because here we have a not there a speech was given by her okay she is going to go she is a different type of pronoun and then the objective pronoun is her a speech was given by her yes my beloved student i would like to stop here don't forget to subscribe so that we can go to a thousand subscribers i'll see you in the next video ciao